Hello, good people. I mentioned in class that I was going to do another proof by mathematical induction, and here we go. So there's a famous theorem that 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared, you know, plus 4 squared plus 5, dot, 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 all the way up to uh, n squared is equal to n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6. You might have seen this in calculus um, when you did Riemann sums, but either way, um, this is a very famous uh, theorem. Now, we're going to prove it. We're going to use mathematical induction. So first, I just want to, before I do that, I want to, um, like, well, technically, I want to show that it works for n equals 1, but I want to do a few of them just so you get the idea. 1 squared is equal to 1, which is also equal to 1 times 1 plus 1 times 2 times 1 plus 1 over 6, because that's just 6 over 6. Uh, 1 squared plus 2 squared, well, that's 5, of course, and that's going to be equal to 2 times 2 plus 1 times 2 times 2 plus 1 over 5, because that's, uh, t because that's 2 times 3, which is, cancels the 6 right away, and that's 4 plus 1 is 5, equals 5. And uh, let's do one more. 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared, well, if you add it up, 1 plus 4 plus 9 equals 14, but that's also equal to 3 times 3 plus 1 times 2 times 3 plus 1, which is 3 times 4 times 7 divided by, whoops, divided by 6, and... Um, that uh, does cancel out and become 14. So we've shown, now, for, 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 our, for our proof by induction, all I needed was to show you the first case, but I wanted to show you all three just, just to give you like more of a, you know, just more of a feel for what's going on. Now, uh, we're gonna go to the next uh, part, and that's the assumption part. So now we're gonna assume that one squared plus two squared plus three squared dot 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 plus n squared is equal to n times n plus one times two n plus one over six. So let so so we're gonna let n be some number where this where this actually holds, and we and we see n could be one, two, three. We know we've already established that this holds, so it's not it's not that much of an assumption. But given I should really say given given any number n where this works, where this where this formula happens to work, I want to prove that if it works for a number n, it's automatically going to work for the number n plus one. I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take um, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this equation. I'm gonna add uh, n plus 1 squared. So now on this side, I have 1 squared plus 2 squared plus dot dot plus n squared plus n plus 1 squared. So I now have this, I now have the sum of the squares from 1 squared all the way up to n plus 1 squared. And that's going to equal to n times n plus 1 to 2 times 1 over 6, which is, which is just bring that right down. And that's equal to that, that, uh, the bracketed part right there plus n plus 1 squared. But I, but I wrote n plus 1 squared, I wrote it 6 over 6, uh, so, cause I'm going to combine the fractions. Now I factor out uh, from the top, I factor out uh, an n plus 1. So I have n plus 1 times n times n plus n times 2 n plus 1 plus 6 times n plus 1, uh, all that over 6, which, that, which if I just uh, work out the parentheses here, uh, multiply out the parentheses, I get 2n squared plus 7n plus 6 times n plus 1 over 6. But this could the two the two this could be factored, and it factors to n plus one times well the n plus one is over here but this guy here could be factored to n plus two times two n plus three over six and that really I mean you can see that we got the proof but just to really drive it home even more uh, this is equal to uh, technically it's n plus one times n plus one plus one because that's what n plus two is times two times n plus one plus one which is what that which is what two n plus three equals. And I've shown that the sum of from 1 squared to n plus 1 squared is equal to this, which really falls into the same, you know, it's like basically substituting uh, n plus 1 into n for the, for the uh, you know, for the original uh, uh, thing and thing. Anyway, thus we have uh, proved by mathematical induction uh, QED. So by mathematical induction, we have proved that the sum of the numbers from 1 squared to n squared uh, comes out to n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1, which is exactly what I wanted to prove, and we use the famous technique of mathematical induction. Yay!